go. Wow. Hey everyone, I've gotten trapped in a portal between the real world and YouTube policy land. Because you see, I made a video that YouTube banned saying that it's spreading medical misinformation for going against God knows what, CDC, WHO, health authorities in general, who knows? But here's the thing, YouTube's policy is BS and here's why. Is YouTube a health authority? No. But more importantly, is YouTube going to accept liability for the narrative that they set by banning people who say certain things? No. Have the vaccine manufacturers accepted liability for anything that goes wrong with them? Well, if you go and get one and you sign off on a form saying, yeah, give me, give me the shot, they tell you if you sign the form that they're not liable for anything. You officially, legally, formally release them from liability, agree to mandatory arbitration, and so on and so forth. The people who make the shots don't accept liability for the shots. YouTube, who force one health narrative site-wide, don't accept any form of liability for the health narrative that they set. And so now I'm stuck in this bizarre portal between reality and YouTube policy where things are not quite true and not quite false. Because you see, I can't speak the true science. It's not allowed. I'll fall out of this portal into YouTube hell where I'll get a strike and I won't be able to live stream and I won't be able to upload for a while. Do I dare step out of this portal? If I try to walk to reality, I fall into YouTube hell. But if I walk towards YouTube policies, I'm lying to you. So what's a guy to do? Well, <laughs> I think I'll just hang out in purgatory for a while, huh? The bottom line with this silly video is that YouTube does not accept any liability for the policies that they set. Isn't it bizarre that we've gone beyond generic, you are not allowed to hate people on YouTube, you are not allowed to post gratuitous violence and hatred and anger, you're not allowed to express strong emotions in a visceral way on YouTube. No nudity, no violence, none of it. But YouTube has made these specific, oddly specific, Things that say that you're not allowed to question a certain election, you're not allowed to question certain authorities in the government. These things are not YouTube's place. Put your money where your mouth is though, YouTube. If someone follows the official guidelines of these authorities and they do so because you have enforced one narrative, are you liable for having forced that on them? Well, no, not right now you're not. Why don't you accept some liability if you believe in this stuff so much, if it's so important that you follow the guidelines of the authorities? Why don't you accept some liability? Say, we stand behind this, and we are willing to accept liability in the form of a lawsuit for damages, or whatever, if people follow the advice of other people on YouTube because we banned other kinds of advice, other evaluations of the facts that are out there, we've only allowed a certain evaluation of the facts. We accept liability if that turns out to be wrong. Oh, you're not going to do that? Oh, gee, I wonder why. Well, have you ever heard of something called dog fooding? Dog fooding is where, it's usually used in tech, and it's where you use your own product to test it. You live the lives of your customers testing your own product. It's called dog fooding. So what does it tell you if someone won't dog food or if they don't have enough faith to accept liability for mistakes that they made, for harm that they cause you, if they require you to not hold them liable for harm they cause you. How much faith does that tell you that they have in their own product? I would say less than zero. I would say if they have to dump all liability, then they don't have any faith at all in what they're putting out. So ask yourself this, since I'm not allowed to question the official narratives, I am allowed to question YouTube's policies. And YouTube's policies say, YouTube isn't liable for jack shit. And if you say things that meet one narrative, 
you're okay, but any other narrative that defies that, you're not. Well, does YouTube hold liability for that? No. So then, YouTube doesn't believe in that either. What YouTube believes in is money. Heaps, pools, piles, dump trucks of money. So they don't want to have any liability. They don't want to be responsible. Responsible. Because the policies are in place. Because they're trying to be responsible. But they don't want to be responsible for the results of their own policies. They don't have any faith in their own policies. They just want to maximize the amount of money that they make while also conforming to certain political agendas. This is how I feel about that, and I'm going to leave it at that. And if this video gets banned, well, <laughs> it won't, it won't, because I'm not actually saying anything controversial here. But read between the lines. I'm moving to other platforms, BitChute, Rumble. Uh, I've, I'm in the process of migrating the rest of my catalog to BitChute. Um, Rumble and Odyssey also. I've pushed a couple old videos up to Odyssey, um, or library, whichever version of it you want. Um, Rumble I'm not really done yet. Rumble seems, it's a little bit more of a pain to push stuff to, but I will eventually have everything on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. When I publish this video, if I remember to, I'll put a pinned comment telling you where those channels are, but if I don't, it's in the description. Go look in the description, go subscribe to me on those three other services so that you can get your full unfiltered dose of my garbage opinions that aren't correct and don't conform. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Go to my website if you want to financially support me because that's wonderful and it makes it easier for me to make more videos saying all this BS. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my time in the portal of purgatory and I invite you all to stay in reality and seek out the truth. Think critically. Have a wonderful day, night, whatever time it is and whatever part of the world you're in. Also, are upside down cakes right side up in Australia? Let me know. Have a good one.